So now we're going to go and we're going to look at how you scored on those. Turn to the next page. Okay. And so on the first one, when it said, I'm a good student, you can look back in your book and you can see which ones did you pick, okay? And I want you to circle which one you chose for each of those, all right? So now, on the next set, I want you to mark the ones you chose with from the descriptions. So you chose this one, this one, this one, and this one, okay? So now you would do this one. And would you do the same for me, Amber, for yours? Which one's from the, the check marks? And the one that you weren't, well, you did decide, didn't you? The one that you were kind of debating between two, but then you decided. And you can look back and see, do you remember which one you did here? I think it was that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And here. What do I do for this one? So, um, when we remember when we were looking at the descriptions and you put a check mark by one, mm -hmm. you're going to circle the one you put a check mark by. Okay? So, on your first set, which one did you put a check mark by? E. Okay. So, then you circle the E. And then you look at the next difference that sensing or intuition title. Then the thinking or feeling title. And then the last one, the judging or perceiving title. Okay. So before I show you what your, your scores are, because that's the ones we're going to put right here, let me ask you this. With this uh, perceiving style, and you check that one too for you? Would you have guessed that that's what your sister was going to check? Do you see this style in her? Mm, not really. No? What do you see in her? See, she, I think she likes to do her homework before we go out and play so she could just get it over with. Because she she's more like she likes to do her work. Okay. So some things that you observe don't match but what you know is true for you, what you thought was right, huh? When you watch your sister, Amber, do you see this in her or do you see something else? I see perceiving. You see that? What do you see that you notice about her that's that? Because sometimes she likes to play and she likes, well she doesn't like to do it, but she does it while she's like playing around and stuff. Yeah, so she does the work while she's you got that playfulness while she's working, huh? Okay. And we could do that for any of them, couldn't we? We could say sometimes what people notice about us isn't the same thing that we feel inside of us. But what's most important is you know which is true for you, okay? Because sometimes we do what we have to do. So let's see how you score. And Angel, I'm going to show you your results first, and then I will show you yours, Amber, okay? And only because hers was on top. <laughs> Not any other reason. So, on your results, your first one was, you scored, was that you chose extroversion. So do you want to circle that? And you answered almost all the questions that way. And then you chose sensing. But it says you answered some questions that way and some questions for intuition. And then you chose feeling. And you answered almost all the questions that way. And then you chose judging. And it was almost like half and half. Half the questions were one way and half the questions were the other way. Okay. So let's hold this for a minute and tell Amber how she scored. So Amber, when you answered the questions, 
you scored extroversion and you answered almost all the questions in that direction and you scored intuition um, and you answered almost all the questions that way you scored feeling but it's almost split this partly each way and you scored perceiving and you did answer some questions in a judging way but more in a perceiving way so now before we read the rest of your reports let's look at what we've got to decide and you don't have to decide today you can say I'm still thinking about it but if you look at yours you had one introversion one extroversion and one extroversion so we can say I'm still deciding or we could say I've got more choices on extroversion what do you think? Do you think you get your energy by doing things? Or do you think you get your energy by going back and taking some time by yourself? Or do you want to make that a, I'll decide someday in the future? I think I'm an extroversion. Okay. And what would make you happy to know that extroversion was true for you? What was a good piece about being an extrovert? Because um, I don't I'm not really jumpy and stuff when I'm alone because, like, there's nothing really to do when you're alone. <laughs> so. yeah. yeah. So you get energy to jump and have fun when you're with others then, huh? Okay, cool. Yeah. So why don't you go ahead and put the E in your box as saying that that's one of the ones you think you prefer most. Okay. When we look at the next pair, the sensing and the intuition, you chose intuition here. You chose intuition here, and you chose sensing here when you answered the questions. Mm -hmm. um, but not with a whole lot. There were some, some questions you answered introverted, intuited to. So again, we can wait and decide later, or you can say, when I listen to the descriptions, I'm real attracted to the intu intuition side. The intuition, remember, is that one who just likes to be unique and do things a little different instead of knowing all the information and then designing? Or do you want to design and then make? Which way? Or do you want to wait and decide another time? I think I may be sensing. Okay, and what part about sensing would seem like a cool thing to be for you? Because most of the time I do do the in instructions first and then go and design uh -huh. and most of the time it's the other way around but most of the time I'm sensing. Okay, so you feel good with that answer? Yes. Okay, go ahead and put sensing down then is your choice. Okay, so on the next pair of differences of thinking and feeling, you chose feeling on the I am a good student, you chose feeling on the questions, um, the descriptions, and you chose feeling on the questions. So what do you think? <laughs> Thinking or feeling? <laughs> feeling. <laughs> kind of unanimous, huh? That every time you listen to those, that one seems best for you. What do you like about being a feeling person? Because hmm, most, when I'm trying to decide of something, it's not really what I think. It's like, Oh, I think I feel like eating this. Like I feel, hmm, I don't think I feel like uh, eating this. Uh -huh. So most of the time I'm feeling about what I want to do or eat or something. So even the using of the word feeling comes into the way you talk a lot, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go ahead and put F down. As F is our shortcut way for feeling. And then we'll look at the last pair of judging and perceiving. When you did the I am a good student, you picked perceiving. When you did the descriptions, you picked perceiving. Your sister picked perceiving for you too, didn't she? But when you answered the questions, you picked judging. But the way you answered the questions, it was almost like pretty close. You had half answers one way and half answers the other way. So if you had to decide, do you think that flexible, spontaneous, last-minute energy worker, or planful, get it done. Oh, no, you thought she had more judging stuff, didn't she? Mm -hmm. Not perceiving. I'm sorry, I got that backwards. More being planful and getting things done and 
over and then having a good time? Or do you want to leave it as, I'm still deciding, I don't know. What do you think? <sighs> Maybe I am judging. Okay, what would make you think that judging might be right for you? Because sometimes I, you know, <laughs> do what I'm supposed to do, and then sometimes, oh, I'm going to go play outside. And sometimes um, I do half my work before and then play and then do the rest. Mm -hmm. But I think it's judging because I'm doing my work first. Ah. And then in the middle I play. Got it. And do you like to know what's going to happen? Do you like to have a plan or do you like to be more spontaneous and just do whatever? Um, have a plan. Okay. Well, people who prefer judging would answer that way. They would say they would rather have a plan. So you're welcome to put judging down if you wish or you're welcome to say I'm going to wait and still think. What would you like to do? Put judging down. Okay. So that the four letters when they talk about your code for type would be E, S, F, and J. And so in a moment I'll tell you how all of those work together in special ways to describe your unique personality. All right. So let's do the same thing. Okay. When you look at your first set of E and I differences, the first time you chose I am a good student, you chose what? Extroversion. And then when you did the questions, the descriptions, you chose? Extroversion. And then when you answered the questions, you chose? Extroversion. So what do you think matches you? Extroversion. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, you've got the pen, I'm sorry. And uh, what was it about extroversion that is cool? That you want people to say, oh, that's me, that I like being that. Well. I don't really know. Okay. Well, that's a piece we can come back to if you'd like. Would you like to do that? Yes. Okay. Let's look at the next difference of sensing and intuition. When you did I am a good student, you chose what? Mm, N. Intuition, N. And when you did the descriptions? N. And, and when you did the questions? N. N. <laughs> so, what do you think? I think I'm an N. You think you would say that Anne has been the one that you have favored today. Okay, yes. go ahead and put that down. Great. So looking at our third set of differences, the thinking and the feeling. When you said, I am a good student, what did you select? Thinking. And when you listened to the descriptions, what did you select? Thinking. Thinking. And when you answered the questionnaire, what did you select? Feeling. Feeling. And when you did those feeling questions, though, it was not a real high percentage. It means you were kind of answering questions on both sides. Um, what was it about a person with a thinking preference that you would see as valuable as something cool to be? Because I mostly think about something or like think of what I want to eat or think what should I do, something like that. I don't really feel it, but I think sometimes you do have to feel because, I don't know, because you got to feel what you want to eat, you know, you just can't think, oh, I'm just going to eat this, yeah, I'm thinking, yeah. <laughs> and I'm getting a sense it must be getting close to dinner, because <laughs> you were thinking food and you've been thinking food too, huh? Yes. Uh, but your point is well taken, that sometimes, even if we prefer one way, that we have to use the other side too. So you might want to question why and understand why and, and strive for those personal challenges and competencies, but you also have to care about others and take care of others and be sensitive to others too. Okay. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about this or what do you think about this? Would you like to make a choice on this one or would you like to wait? I want to make a choice. Okay. And so of those two preferences, do you think you are more of a person who is driven by 
wanting to understand things and make sure they can fix problems and solve things? Or do you want to focus on people and how to help people and how to be good for? Both are wonderful choices. T say, I'm going to solve all those problems so people can be happy. Yes. And the F say, I'm going to help people be happy and then they can fix problems. <laughs> so do you like to, which way do you want to do it? The second way. I forgot which one was the second way. Was the second way with the people first and solving problems or solving problems so people can be happy? <laughs> which one do you like to do first? <laughs> people first. People first and then the problem? Okay. So that would be the F if you want to do it. Oh, okay. Do you think I'm going to remember <laughs> you have that pen or not? <laughs> All right, dear. Uh, the last one was about that, how we organize our world. And when you did I Am a Good Student, you chose the perceiving. perceiving. And when you did the descriptions, you chose? Perceiving. And when you answered the questions, you chose? Perceiving. <laughs> so, again, what would you like to put there? Perceiving. So what was cool about being in the perceiving choice? Because those kids, like Angel here, <laughs> um, they would want to like do their homework and have plans and all that other good stuff. But most of it like to just be spontaneous and do random stuff at different times and um, just forget about my homework and you know do that later and just go have fun and jump around. All right. So that spontaneity and that flexible time is important to you. Yes. All right. Very cool. Well, when you get your reports, so I'm going to give you your report, Amber. It is a report for the ENFP, so the information in there is going to match you. And your report, as it turns out, is for the ESFJ, so its information is going to match you. So um, you're on page two. See the page numbers up there? And I'm just going to take you through for a minute and show you what else is in your report that you can read when you get home if you wish. The page three is just again reminding us that everybody has a normal good way of doing things and that when it's my way I'm using my strengths. But I can do it the other way too. So even if I choose feeling as my preference I can solve problems. I can understand why. If I choose sensing as my preference I can come up with new unusual different ideas. Whatever it is, so that's your stretch. You can still do it. And that on the next page, everybody's smart, everybody can make mistakes, and everybody can do a good job. The descriptions that you find on the next few pages are the ones that we've already talked about in the book. So we're going to skip those. And over here, it said, which one described me best? And that's the one you just did in your book that you said described you best. Based on that, when you go to the next page, it starts with you, just you, that ESFJ combination or that ENFP combination. Your bullets are all going to be different because those four letters work together and make a special pattern that gives you what you are best at and where you're going to have to stretch and work. And so these would be the strengths that you would have, Angel, and your stretches, okay? And then once it tells you after that is some ideas of ways that you can work with people or with your parents and teachers and where you might run into a problem. So the problem would be if you had to kind of stretch and it didn't work for you. Okay. So we've only got a few moments left, so in our few moments that are left, what I'd really like to do is say, what do you now know about you that you would say if, if the world could only know something about me based on my personality, I would want them to know this. What would you want them to know about you, Angel? Um, Here's your paper clip for you. Okay. I like to have fun, but most of the time 
I like to do work and get things done. And um, I like to be creative and not just like do the same things over and over again. Sure. And um, I like to do things with other people. Mm -hmm. And um, when I do those things with other people, I like to think about or think and feel about what I'm doing with them uh -huh. and how I'm doing it with them. Well said. Well said. <laughs> Amber, how about you? What do you want the world to say? I know you now have more about yourself from the personality stuff. What would you want them to know most about you? I would like them to know that I'm not like other people. Mm -hmm. I like to be different and outgoing and courageous and just adventure. Yeah. What nice words you've chosen. Courageous <laughs> and adventurous. Those are really cool.